Stahican Landing, gateway to one of the most magnificent wilderness areas in the United States. Here, on a summer weekend in 1988, backpackers come by boat en route to the rugged trails of North Cascades National Park. Dave Brower arrives here too for a reunion with some of the people who worked hard to create the park 20 years earlier. It was a long effort. You bring bad weather. I don't know no, why you no. have to do this. No, the last no. time you came here, I, I think you rained all over. No, this is good weather. I don't like it dry. Back in 1956, Grant McConnell was a college professor who spent summers in Stahican. Alarmed by the effects of mining and logging in the area, he took his concerns to David Brower. It was not a difficult matter to persuade him that this place needed help. Fresh from his dinosaur triumph, Brower suggested a film to show people what should be preserved. Then he brought his camera and his oldest sons to the North Cascades. We used to always complain, my brother and I, because we were sort of pressing the service as models in these movies. We'd have to do this, the same routine three or four times to get it right. Brower's boys and Grant McConnell's daughter starred as every child who might someday enjoy these mountains. Up for the tree, you reach as high as the cloud. For the flower, you take the summer wind of beauty. And the summer rain, too. They will want to discover for themselves the wildness of the ages that made perfect. I myself showed that film at least a hundred times and always had large audiences that were just enthralled with it. And I was always convinced that they were going right home to write their congressman. The battle continued into the 60s. Timber and mining companies proved powerful adversaries. As government hearings on the issue approached, Brower looked for yet another way to persuade a reluctant Congress. He wanted a book desperately, so he called me on the phone one day and said, Harvey, you're going to write a book. i got to have it in 30 days. The Wild Cascades was given to every member of Congress to show the congressman exactly what was at stake in the North Cascades. And I can't help but think that it had a major impact. One of the principal saviors of this county. All right, yes. And uh, where is your mean typewriter? After 12 years of effort, Congress created North Cascades National Park. Without Dave, there wouldn't be a park. He knew the national organization. He knew all, he knew everybody. And uh, if he decided that it was, it was to be done, he knew what buttons to push and how to push them and, and, and get things going. 